hello people this is code grind and in today's video we'll be creating a skeleton loader completely made out of css so here i've got a few images uh, a few headings and some text out here so whenever i reload the page we get this exact layout of your web page and it provides us with this cool animation and it uh, makes the website look interactive and very good so if you want to learn how to make this loader then stick to the end of the video and let's get straight into it So let's start with the very beginning. I have got this basic HTML layout. I have linked an external CSS file in which we'll be doing all the styling part. So let's get started with the HTML part now. First, we'll have a div with the class of container. We will wrap all our things inside this div. Then we'll have first we will create uh, the content, not the loader. The loader will be the second part of the HTML. Now the content, and we'll have a div boxes the class will be boxes and then we'll have different articles so i will be using three of these articles like this uh, inside each of the articles we'll have our image heading and some text so the first article we'll have the image at first and the images which i'll be using uh, will be from a website and called unsplash.com from where you can get uh, high resolution images without any copyright issues I highly recommend you should use that website for downloading images for your projects. So the first image, is, the image which we'll be using is this one. Let's copy the image address. Uh, I'm using the images from the internet because we need to show that loading time. So if I you, uh, it will be providing us with a higher load loading time. So we'll be able to see the the skeleton loading for a larger amount of time. Now for text, first we'll have an H3. Let's call it a heading one. So heading one. Then we'll have a paragraph, and let's have some lorem ipsum. So, oh, we didn't get. Oh, I typed lorem. Lorem ipsum. So here I'm using emit abbreviations. If you want to learn all about them, basically they are short syntaxes which provide us with some bigger HTML lines. If you want to learn about them, I'll give a link in the description. Of my crash course on emit abbreviations, and you can also click on the link above to learn all about them. So this is it for the first article. Let's just copy uh, this for the second article as well. Yeah. Now the image, so the second image will be this one. Let's copy the image address, and instead of this image, we'll be using this one over here. Hit save, then copy this article again, and paste it. And the third image will be this one. Copy image address and paste it over here like this. So this is it for our content. Let's just change it to heading three, and this one will be heading two. So here we have got first heading one text, heading two text, heading three text. So this is it for the content. Now let's create the loader. So the loader will be exact same in HTML part, but there will be just some differences. Like inside the container first uh, heading. Let's give it with a heading. Like CSS skeleton loader. So this is not the heading which we are using like this one. It is just the basic heading of the page. Now we'll have our loader inside the class div with a class loader. Then similarly the class boxes, and then again article. And inside article we will have a div with the class image. Now here we won't have any image inside here because we don't need the image for this one. We just need a div. We'll provide some animation to it, and then we'll have a div with the class text. Then we will have an H3, and for this paragraph, we'll just be uh, showing it, representing it with two lines. So for that we can have two lines like div dot lines. So two divs with the class lines. And since we have three articles over here, we need to have three articles over here also. Uh, these will all remain same in uh, HTML part, and these won't have any changes in them. So this is it for the HTML part. Now let's get into the styling. So we'll start writing our CSS by nullifying the browser's default settings: margin zero, padding zero, box sizing of border box, and we'll be using a font of 
pop-ins which I like a lot if you want to install this in your system I will give a link in the description below you can download the font from there now we'll design the heading so text a line of center to it uh, font size of let's say 2.5 m and a margin of top and right 2 m yeah, so this is it for the font so we have got this uh, heading over here now we'll select the boxes so this will select the loader as well as the content we'll give it a display of grid actually let's first design our images because these are too big right now so you won't see any notice any changes over here so for that we'll first select the images boxes image and give it a height so i'm using height in pixels so this will be static 250 pixels yeah so these are your images now let's design the boxes div so display grid we'll arrange them in different rows so repeat one fr yeah this is it now we'll give them a grid row gap of 1m and a margin of 1m yeah so this is it for designing the boxes now let's further design the images we can give them a border radius of let's say 5 pixels will be good enough bit curviness is always good now let's design the articles so for the articles uh, so each article consists of heading image and some text so for that we will give it a display of grid grid template of columns 1 fr and 4 fr yeah so we have got these side by side now let's give some gapping between the two columns this will be given by grid column gap of 1 m yeah now let's design this image uh, the not exactly the image but the div which is holding this image so the div with the class image so dot boxes article dot image yeah now we'll give it uh, justify items of center actually not justify item justify self yeah then we'll have to design our text we we'll just increase it oh, sorry decrease its font by a bit so this is for our font heading everything is designed now this is it for the content now let's design the loader so for the loader we want it uh, if we just uh, design the loader then it will come above our content so we need to give the loader a position of absolute so that we can position it according to our content so let me first write the code then it will be much clearer for you so for that first select the loader div give it a position of absolute yeah a height of 100% and a width of 100% so that it takes up the entire window now we have we want to start the loader from this first image over here so we need to skip this gap over here and this gap is roughly around 13 m so we'll give it a top of 13 m and a left of 0 yeah this is it now let's design the image for the loader so that would be this div with the class image we just we don't need to do anything to it we just need to provide it with the same height as we have provided to all these images that is a height of 150 and a width of 250 pixels so we will select this and give it a height of 150 pixels and a width of 250 pixels so we don't see any changes because we don't have any background color or anything over here first we will design everything then we will provide it with the colors now we'll select the h3 tag and give it a height of let's say 1.5 m and a width of 80 percent so it will take up the 80 percent width now the boxes uh, so the, this grid boxes which i provided it is same for the loader as well because we have the div with class boxes in the loader as well as in the content so this display grid will be applied to both of them 
now let's design the lines so there are two lines which we are using we will give them a height of 1m a width of let's say 350 pixels would be good I have actually tested uh, the loader in these values so I am using these you can change the values according to your convenience now let's select every one of them that would be the image the h3 uh, the h3 and the lines yeah so we have selected every one of them we will give them a background color of ccc so we have got these all above the images so as you can see over here this is perfectly positioned now we will give them a border radius of 7 pixels as i said a little bit of curviness is always good now we will give them some gradient so that gradient will be our animation let me first write it then it will be much clearer we will give it a linear gradient uh, starting with 90 degrees so that it will be vertical the colors which i am using i have actually selected them and tested them all the rgpa 229 229 229 and 0 0.7 opacity then after the rgba we'll have a uh, 90 pixels blur then again f4 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 and a 150 pixels yeah so you see this uh, if i remove this then you will uh, notice the change this is a bit darker now but when i apply this property then it becomes a bit uh, a lot shinier so this we will provide uh, the shiny effect to the loader using this background image only we'll give it a background size now so the size will be 600 pixels now we don't see any changes right now because we haven't provided any animation so let's create an animation call let's call it loading it will be for one second infinite and linear now let's design uh, define this animation at keyframes loading so if you want it a uh, zero percent this will be background position so background position now which i am using is for this linear gradient so its background position initially will be minus 100 pixels and then finally it will be the background position finally will be of 300 pixels let's hit save now we don't see any changes why so there must be some error yeah the spelling mistake i have uh, typed lao so with this we see this animation over here now this is all for the skeleton loading now we have to uh, get some javascript done so initially this loader won't have any opacity so let's give it an opacity of zero and a pointer events of none and we will provide um, oh i'm sorry uh, initially the content won't have any visibility so the content should have let's select the content and give it an opacity of zero and pointer events of none yeah and remove so now there isn't any image as well so we don't uh, get the loader image one actually we need to remove this class loader yeah so we have got this image and heading and text here loader now when the page loads so for that we need to go to the script and let's select the loader and as well as the content yeah so when the page loads so for that we have a window dot add event listener load we will run a function and we will add a class of hide to the loader so loader dot class list dot add hide now what this hide will do is we will come back here and dot loader 
dot hide whenever the class hide is added to the loader we will give it an opacity of 0 and a pointer events of none so since the page loaded uh, we the loader is hidden now let's give it a transition so that the transition is smooth yeah let's reload the page now so you see when the page loads the loader hides now we also know to show need to show the content when the page loads so for that we will add a class of show to the content and here we will define this class so content dot show now the opacity here will be one and the pointer events will be all so let's see let's hard reload the page and it is just working fine so this is how you can create a skeleton loader i guess it was very clear to you if you didn't get any part you can just rewind the video and view that part again and you will definitely get it it's not so hard to understand now if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more such amazing tutorials on css and javascript and drop a comments if you have any queries i will put a preview at the end of the video and thank you for watching